Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and it's time to cook. This morning, this is breakfast of course, but you know what? Cook it whenever you want to eat it. But this morning, I will be cooking le French toast and le sausage. Yes, le sausage. I'm trying to sound French, y'all. Don't do that. That's my French voice. Y'all know I got all kind of accent. My New York, that's my French. I'm doing French this morning, child. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Anyway, all right, so this morning we are having French toast. I've got um, some Nature's Own Butter Bread here. Y'all saw my Publix haul. Y'all know I got that bogo, but I won't get one. Butter bread, that tastes really good when you're cooking French toast. That butter flavor with your French toast, delicious. All right, and I've got some regular large Publix egg, well, medium, medium eggs. And I got some pecan smoke, home smokehouse. Polish kielbasa sausages. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I don't know about that pecan, pecan smoke. That sounds good to me, y'all. I got two of those, and I got some cinnamon, some badia, badia, cinnamon to sprinkle over the French toast. You know, give it a little extra, a little something, something. All right, it's what we cooking for breakfast. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get our sausages ready. Go ahead and get my sausage out. Let me see. Just trying to figure out how I want to cut my sausages up. Let me go ahead and rinse this sausage off. Yes, I do wash my sausages off. And my hot dogs. Yes. All meat that can be washed, I wash it. Only thing that don't get washed is beef. Yeah, like, you know, like the ground beef. Can't really wash that. But if I could, I would. Anyway, let me rinse this off real quick. That how rich your meat off. I don't care what nobody said. I'm going to wash my meat off. I'm washing it all off. Washing it. Yeah, that's how I'm going to cut it. I think I'll probably do like little chunks. Like, you know, so we can pick them up. Little chunks like that, yeah. Yeah, that's how I do it. Like little cute little chunks. Now, we've been, I've never had these sausages before. I mean, they look good. And they were on sale. So, huh. I don't need to play around when it comes to a sale. Ain't nothing wrong with trying something new. It's on sale. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try it. It smell good. And they pecan smoke. Okay. I don't know what that means, pecan smoke, but I'm sure pecan nuts got something to do with it. I don't know. Something like that, y'all. Y'all saw the package. Pecan smoke. Okay, yeah, that's going to be cute. That's going to be real cute. All right, let's get this other pack open. Get this washed off. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, now, scissors, don't be trying to cut me. All right, let me go wash this off. Remember, always wash your meat. Always wash your meat off. I don't know what's going on in the factory. I do not know what's going on in the factory. I know this sausage smells really good. I mean, I can smell that it's smoked. I mean, you can clearly smell that. I love the smell of a smoked meat. So good. And I think it's cute how I'm cutting it in little chunks. Little chunks like this. That's cute. So that way we can just, you know, pick them up with our hands. You know, just pick it up like that and eat it. I think that'll be cute. Little finger size food, finger food, whatever they call it. Try not to cut my aluminum foil. Y'all see I got my pan lined with aluminum foil. Line your pan with aluminum foil. That makes cleaning a lot easier. Makes it so much easier when you line your pan with aluminum foil. The aluminum foil catch all the oil, catches all the grease, all of that. 
less of a cleanup. So I just snatch my aluminum foil off and just kind of wipe my pan down underneath there. It don't really get messy, but I still just wipe it off a little bit. And that's it. Quick, easy cleanup. Did y'all know what I say? I ain't got all day. I don't have all day. I don't. I don't know about y'all. I do not have all day to be in this kitchen cooking. Because I cook enough. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and get these sausages in the oven. I'm going to put them in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350 degrees. That's good enough for the sausages. 350 degrees. See how I just cut up in little cute little chunks? That's going to be real cute when they cook up, y'all. And I did spray my aluminum foil with a little oil. So that way, you know, my sausages got a little oil in there to help them cook. And I am going to spray the top of these sausages. Remember, the oil helps your food cook. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven. I'll be back so we can get started on that French toast. Okay, guys, I'm back. I already started. I almost forgot to come and film. I'm telling you, when I be in the kitchen, I be moving. Uh, but, yeah, let me show you guys how I do my French toast. Simple, easy. I already cracked my eggs, and I just, you know, get like a little cute little flat plate, whatever you want to use. Just showing y'all what I do. I just kind of scrub on my eggs a little bit. Stir it up, mix it up a little bit. Don't do too much. Don't do too much, child. All right, okay. So, and my bread, like I said, I got that butter flavor bread, so this going to be good, y'all. And I just take my bread and I just, that's what I do. I fold it like that so the eggs can wrap around your bread. So you just wrap it. Y'all know how eggs is. They sticky. So you just flip your bread like that. And that'll help the eggs just wrap around your bread. You know? Yep. I put it to the side and I just do the next one. Just wrap it like that. See? And your egg starts wrapping around the bread. That's it. Quick and easy. I just wanted to come and show y'all that. Let me get this stove on. So we can go ahead and get started on this French toast. Because we ain't got all day. All right. Let me get the plate down for my French toast. Ooh, child. Got me a nice cold drink. Y'all do that. When I be in the kitchen cooking, try, I got to pull me a nice cold drink. Sometimes it be getting a little too hot in this kitchen. Well, my kitchen don't really get that hot, but it do get, y'all know, it get a little stuffy in the kitchen because you're cooking. So I got me a nice, let me show y'all my drink. Nice, big, cold drink. That's what I be need. Let me do a little sip ASMR for y'all. Oh, shucks. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was delicious. Oh, child, I hope y'all heard that sip ASMR. Oh, I love watching ASMRs. They trip me out. All right. Let me take y'all over here. Oh, we got the butter going in the pan. Turn y'all around. Y'all already saw how I did the French toast. Let's go over here get y'all ready. I got to check on them sausages in the stove. Hold on, y'all. Let's see how that sausage doing in there. Okay, it's looking good. Let me toss it around a little bit. Let me show y'all how the sausage looking. Ooh, that looking good. Ooh, y'all hear that? Ooh, yeah, looking good. All right, let's put them back in there. They ain't done yet. I'm just gonna shake them around a little bit. They ain't done yet. All right, let me get the French toast in here. I already got our butter hot over here. Y'all see it? Let me zoom y'all in a little bit more there. Quick French toast. I love cooking French toast. It's quick and easy. Quick and easy. Got my butter. I'm going to cook my French toast with butter today. Just put a little butter in there. Ooh, child. I'm scraping my pants. I cannot stand that. All right. And today, I always use, I can't believe it's not butter. I mean, I like that butter. I've tried other butters, but um, I can't believe it's not butter. It's pretty good. It's pretty decent butter. All right, we'll have one right there. Put that second one right there. 
cook it up. I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna cook this whole loaf, the entire loaf of the butter bread. I can cook a, a batch of French toast in like 10 minutes. I mean the whole loaf. Toss it in the egg, flip, 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 go, move, move, move. I'm telling y'all. I can cook a whole batch of French toast so quick and easy. So quick and easy, y'all. I kind of like, you know, move it around a little bit so it'll get brown underneath. Let me do a little lift and see how it's looking under there. Yeah, not quite brown under there yet. I wait for that other side to get nice and brown. When it gets nice and brown, I'll flip my French toast. That's how I like it. Nice little brown tint to it. Nice little brown. A little crunchy. Not too crunchy. You know what I mean. Just a little brown. Let me see. Let me check on this other one. Okay. It might be ready to flip. Let me see. Okay. Okay, looking cute. Looking cute. Put a little bit more butter in there. I just take my spatula and just pick up a little bit more butter. Remember to keep your, got to keep your pan coated. Cut my pan on. Oh, stop it, butter. Yep, just kind of toss it around like that. I'm going to let that side get brown. You know what? I'm going to flip it over a little bit more so it can get a little bit brown. Hold on. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit more. Y'all got to see the French toast. Y'all know I'm going to give the people what they want. Okay. French toast is so easy. It's so quick and easy. See? I cooked those two pieces in like two minutes. Two minutes. Did not take long at all. But I do want, I want that other side to get a little bit browner. Now, the French toast, I usually don't smash it down. I just smash a little bit. Just to help that side get brown, you know, the other side get a little brown and toasty. Cause I don't want to flatten out my French toast. The bread flatten out. All right, now let's flip, flip, baby, flip. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that, look at that. And we did that in like two minutes. French toast done. Boom. All right, y'all. Let me get this French toast cooked up, and when I come back, y'all, it's gonna be the grand finale. Y'all better be ready already. All right, guys. This is the grand finale. Le French toast and le sausages. Those sausages taste really good, by the way. I had a couple while I was getting ready to film. So, y'all see some missing sausages? Yeah, I ate them. Don't worry about it. It's my food. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so. All right. So, we got the French toast. And let's do the grand finale on the French toast. Let's pour our cinnamon on the French toast. Yes. I like to do a little powdered sugar, but I ain't got no powdered sugar. So, it's cinnamon today. Just cinnamon. Yeah, I thought I had some powdered sugar in there from baking all the time, but I got to get some more. But, all right. We're going to sprinkle our cinnamon on the French toast. Y'all know I got to take y'all in to see the food. Got to see the food, now. Nah. Ooh, look at that French toast with the cinnamon. I got to take y'all in. Y'all see the cinnamon. Y'all see the cinnamon right there. Y'all see the cinnamon right all up in there. All up in there. All up in Y'all see the cinnamon. Y'all see it. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me bring y'all out. Get out my business. All right. Let me take y'all over to the sausage. Sausage. So good. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So, you know what? I can add some parsley to the sausage. Yeah. Let's, let's give the sausage some life, child. Y'all know I will put parsley on something in a minute. Oh, yeah. That look pretty. Okay, okay, Parsley, show up, Parsley, show up. <laughs> word of the day, he will show up and show out. That is the word of the day. All right, y'all. This is Arika Misha. You see me do it. So y'all know I did this. Y'all know I cooked this. Stop playing. Stop. Y'all play too much. Y'all, anyway. See me do it so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.